Assalamu alaikum. Prophet stories from Quran for children. Hazrat Musa alayhi salam and the evil Pharaoh. Hazrat Musa alayhi salam and the evil Pharaoh. Hazrat Musa alayhi salam was living in a very happy life with his family. One day he decided to return to Egypt. He left the village along with his family. During the course of their journey, they arrived Mount Tu Mount Tur. It was a cold night. Hazrat Musa alayhi salam noticed a fire in the distance. As Hazrat Musa alayhi salam approached the fire, he heard a voice. O oh, Musa, the voice called, I am Allah, your Lord. I am going to make you my prophet. You must go to the people of Egypt and tell them that there is only one Lord, Allah, who created them. So they must be grateful and pray only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and strive to do good. Take your brother Harun with you and go to the Pharaoh and give him my message. Hazrat Musa alayhi salam and Hazrat Harun alayhi salam went to Egypt and told Pharaoh, Allah, who is the Lord of the all universe, he sent us to you. We are Allah, we are Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's messengers and we have brought the truth to you. You should set the children of Israel free. When Pharaoh heard this, he turned angry and shouted, You liar! No one except I, the great Pharaoh of Egypt, is the lord of the world. I am the most powerful king on earth. If you disobey me, I will throw you in prison. Hazrat Musa salam and Hazrat Harun salam were not frightened by Pharaoh's anger. Hazrat Musa salam told Pharaoh, with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I shall show you that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is more powerful than you. <coughs> Hazrat Musa alayhi salam then took his staff and threw it on the ground. The staff turned into a long thick snake. When the Pharaoh saw this, he said, You are clearly you are clearly a magician. I will call all the magicians in my land, and then we will see who is a better magician. They or you. All the magicians gathered in the Pharaoh's place. Sorry, in the all the magicians gathered in the Pharaoh's palace. They had many magical sticks with them, and they turned them into snakes. But then Hazrat Musa salam threw his staff on the ground. And once again it turned into a huge snake. Hazrat Musa salam's snake swallowed up all the snakes. The magicians were impressed. They said, We believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who has sent Hazrat Musa alayhi salam as his prophet. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is much more powerful than all of us. When the cruelties of Pharaoh, of Pharaoh became unbearable, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instructed Hazrat Musa alayhi salam to leave Egypt along with his family and followers. Hazrat Musa alayhi salam led his people towards the Red Sea. By then, Pharaoh was informed that they had left Egypt. So he took a huge army to crush them. When they reached the Red Sea, Allah the Almighty guided Hazrat Musa alayhi salam. Split the sea with your staff. Hazrat Musa alayhi salam did as he was commanded. A wind blew and in a flash the sea parted. Hazrat Musa alayhi salam led his people across. As the people looked back, they saw Pharaoh and his army approaching. In great fear and panic, they begged Hazrat Musa alayhi salam to close the sea. However, Allah the Almighty commanded Hazrat Musa alayhi salam not to to close the sea with his staff again. For Allah's judgment, we already in action. For, for Allah's judgment was already in action. Pharaoh and his army had seen the parting of the sea. He turned to his men and said, Look, the sea has opened 
at my command so that I may follow those rebels and arrest them. They rushed across the parted waters, and when they were midway, Allah, the true Lord, commanded the sea to return to its previous state. The proud Pharaoh and his army drowned immediately. Pharaoh, Pharaoh's mummy was placed firstly in Cairo's famous museum. Nowadays, it's in London Museum, where it is serving as a great lesson for all local and foreigner visitors. The salty crust found over Pharaoh's death body has been examined recently. It has established the historical fact that the cruel pharaoh was King Ramses II and that his death was caused by drowning in salty water of the Red Sea. Reference Surah al qasas Ayah 25-28 and Surah Al-Araf Ayat 118-119 Hope you have enjoyed listening to, to this story of our Prophet Hazrat Musa alayhi salam and the evil Pharaoh. Until next video, Allah Hafiz.